Hello everyone. While I was at the boot sale this morning, um, I picked up this rather nice, if grubby, set of uh, Mac tools pliers, as you can see there. They look quite nice, they're just absolutely filthy. And they cost me two pounds. Uh, they're about nine and a half inches long, quite heavy, appear to be quite well made. Um, just absolutely filthy. Other than that, they seem to be all right. There's a little bit of um, looseness to the uh, jewels, as you can see just there. But other than that, they're quite good. So what I'm going to do is, um, I've got some heavy duty degreaser in a bucket behind me. So what we'll do is we'll get it out. Um, if you see my video about the boot sale, you'll see I've cleaned the handles up a little bit. But I'm going to get the heavy duty degreaser out and we'll uh, clean the handles and see what we can do about this section here. And then uh, I think what we'll have to do is dip it in some vinegar to get any rust off. Okay, so here it is, the uh, no-nonsense heavy-duty degreaser in here. Let's get the old pliers in there and see what we can do. It comes off quite nicely. So, shouldn't have any problem cleaning them up, especially the handles. Look at that man. So let's look at that. Cleaned up already nicely, very nicely indeed. Okay then, let's see what we can do with the uh, rather filthy head. Got a little bit of um, scotch bright here. A bit of gentle going over. I think there's a lot of rust on here too. But we'll get all the uh, filth off of it carefully. Oh, I don't know then. Maybe it's just a lot of filth on them then. Well it did appear to be a fair amount of filth on there. Which is all uh, coming off quite nicely now. Um, I think all that's left now is um, just a bunch of rust So I think what I'll do is I'll uh, yeah, get the head dipped into some um, vinegar. Okay, I've got this uh, juice carton here. The pliers will fit in there quite nicely with the jaws open, as you can see. Hopefully in there. No, you can't. There we go. That's better then. So what I'll do is I'll uh, stand it on the workbench here and I'll pour some vinegar in there and see what happens. Okay, so we've got some nice clean distilled vinegar. We'll pour that in. Hopefully it'll be enough to cover up the jaws. Looking good so far. It's going to take the whole bottle to do it. There we go. And there we are, soaking in vinegar. Um, can you smell it? Because I certainly can. Okay, so we'll leave that overnight and see what happens. Okay, so it's been uh, a few hours, <coughs> two or three hours. <coughs> I've been out here every now and again giving these a little gentle wire brushing over and some of the rust is actually uh, coming off quite quite nicely actually there's only a few little bits on here there's not a great deal um, left so uh, let's just get them dried down a bit and I'll uh, move the vinegar off and then we'll have a bit of a look at them okay they're a little bit um, damp shall we say with the vinegar as we can see, they've gone a little black. Unfortunately, we appear to have lost the um, Mag Tools logo and the part number off of there. But unfortunately, that can't be helped because I think this must that must have been sort of like um, you know chemically put on there. <clears throat> but other than that, haven't they come up nice? I think there's a little bit of pitting just on the end here. You can see there. That's a bit of a shame. Perhaps I can get that off with a polishing wheel or something. But um, <clears throat> other than that, they don't look bad at all, really, do they? Hmm, get one on the wire brush, I think. Youch! Oh, nice one. 
<laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them somewhere warm to dry out, get the vinegar out of them. In fact, I'll, uh, I'll take them and give them a rinse under the hot tap and maybe even put some hot water and um, bicarb and that'll, that'll kill it off. But uh, yeah, we'll give them a rinse down and then um, leave them to dry somewhere. And check out the flash rusting on here as well, look. I've just given them a rinse to get the vinegar off them. And they're flashing already. Look at that. Going rusty already in an instant. <laughs> well, well, as I say, we'll pop them down there, let them dry out. And then we'll uh, take a further look at them. Okay then, so let's see how we can polish the um, <clears throat> the jaws and the head on this little fellow, shall we? Uh, I thought, think I'd, uh, thought I'd give it a try with some scotch bright at first. Because uh, I don't think it's that really that dirty, to be honest with you. So um, I'm going to give it a go with the uh, Scotch Bright first. Oh yeah. Okay, so can you see that? See the difference there? I think you can see the difference already. Look. So uh, let's just continue with the Scotch Bright then. Okay then, so we all know Scoutcrafter's favourite part of this and we remember how the uh, Mac tools uh, pliers looked before we started. Let's look at them now. That's a lot better, isn't it? As I say, I've left a little bit of um, life history on them with the pitting here so you can see that they were actually used. Um, they're in pretty good condition really. I don't know how much use they've actually seen. Um, we've got the little crimpy bits going on just there as well. The handles are nice and clean. There's not too much damage to the handles which is quite nice. Um, the only thing is we've lost the uh, Mac Tools logo from just here which would have been um, I guess chemically printed on there which is a shame. It's a shame it's gone and got lost. But um, not a lot we could do with that, to be honest with you guys. But uh, other than that, came out quite nicely, I thought. It's a bit more shiny one side than the other, I think. But um, what do you think? Pretty nice job, I think. Quite pleased with those for the uh, two pounds that I paid for them, because I think these are probably quite expensive um, pliers. They run nice and smoothly. I say they are a little bit on the loose side of things. You'll probably see going on just here. 
a little bit of looseness going on. Not a lot though. But uh, yeah, what do you think then guys? Not bad for two pound. So now the obvious question remains, do I actually have room in any of my uh, plier drawers for them to live? Um, to be honest, no I don't. I'm going to need another toolbox to store them in, another nice tool chest. I don't know where I'm going to get one of those from just at the moment, but I'm going to need um, definitely another tool chest to keep them in. Okay then, so all that's left now to do is to uh, do a review on the uh, pliers, and that's something I shall be doing in the very near future. If you'd like to see it guys, please let me know down below, but I will probably do a review of them anyway. Uh, as you know, I like a nice pair of pliers. Um, I've actually got another large set of pliers, and that will be these very, very nice 10 inch Elliot Lucas. What's the number on here? Can we see the number on there? Let's have a look. What is the number on there? Can't right see it, so it's a bit worn away. But what I'll do is I'll uh, put the number just here for you guys to take a look at. But they're 10 inch anyway. So they are more or less the same size as these uh, very nice Mac tools here. Yeah, they are the same size. Yes, I also picked these up from the boot sale last year as well for about a pound, I think they were. But uh, yeah, yes, I'm always um, look on the lookout for a nice pair of pliers at the uh, boot sale. And these are very nice indeed. Um, the guy who I bought them off had two very, very large boxes of tools, absolutely full, and they would have taken forever to go through them looking for nice tools. But uh, these were almost at the top, and I could just see the, uh, the red handles sticking out like so. So I thought, well, let's dig them out. So I did. And I'm so glad that I did, and I'm sure you'll agree, guys. Okay, then. Well, thanks for coming over to Rathbone Manor, and namely the workshop here at Rathbone Manor, and taking a look at these absolutely wonderful Mac Tools uh, pliers here. Um, I do hope you'll pop over again, because I say we'll be doing a review on these at some time in the future, and I do hope you'll pop over again in the very near future, then. Okay, then. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. <coughs>